Welcome back to the Bee's Tale. You know what? I have been told to get a haircut. My mother tells me that my hair looks like a lion's mane. Now that got me wondering. If the lion's mane is so untidy, why doesn't he go and get a haircut? And then my mother told me there is a story behind it. There is a reason why the lion doesn't get a haircut. And that story is given in a book. The book is named Lion Goes for a Haircut. It has been written by Swati Shom and illustrated by Sayan Mukarji. It has been published by Tunika Books. Now, let's find out if this lion actually goes for a haircut. If he does, then why can't he take the other lions with him? Let's find out. The lion goes for a haircut. A lion was walking along the edge of a town when he saw a hair cutting saloon. A sign said, Come in for a haircut. You choose we cut. Click your photo. Choose the cut that suits you best and we will do the rest. Okay? So now there are a lot of saloons that do that. They allow you to take pictures of yourself in different hairstyles and then you can tell them which one looks best on you. And whichever one you choose, they will cut your hair according to that. So the lion saw this board and he saw people walk in there and come out with different kinds of haircut. Do you want to see some of them? Take a look. Which haircut would you like among these? This sort of looks like my hair now, even without the haircut. I have never had a haircut. I want one too, thought the lion. He clicked a picture of himself in the photo booth outside the saloon and he looked very pretty. There he is. Ta-da! <laughs> he walked in and sat down in front of a computer. The screen had a picture of him. This pretty picture that you, you saw just now that came up on the computer screen. He just looked very happy seeing the picture. Let's take a look at his face. Yeah, I wouldn't be too happy with that picture either. A message popped up. Now choose the cut that you like the best. But while the lion was doing that, something was happening in the saloon. There were people inside the saloon, right? By this time, everyone had fled. So the lion is wondering, why is everybody running? I'm just minding my own business, sitting here and checking my photo. Why is everyone running? Why do you think everybody is running? Hmm, think on that. Now, the lion is anyway very busy. He doesn't have time for all this. He was going through the different styles. Which one would he choose? The lion cannot decide because there were so many hairstyles and they were making the lion look so pretty in each of them. Take a look at that. So many different hairstyles. Then finally he settled on one. Aha, that would make him look like a film actor. A movie star cut for sure. Finally he tapped on the picture. He liked how he looked. But who would cut his hair? He looked around. The people had all fled, right? But when he looked around, he saw a lot of lions there. Do you know what? In a hair saloon, there are lots of mirrors, right? So the, each mirror that is on the wall had a lion in it. Take a look at that. Yes. So no people to cut his hair, but there are lots of lions in each of the mirrors.
was. And she was upset. Because as you know, lions are the kings of the jungle. And they don't like other lions coming near them. So she roared. What are you lions doing here? All the lions opened their mouth and roared, just like him. But there was no sound. They all opened their mouth and they were all roaring. But there was no sound. Only this sound was heard. He shook a paw at them angrily and shouted, Why don't you answer? All the lions shook their paws angrily and shouted, just like him. But there was no sound. I was getting a little confused now. He scratched his head, looking puzzled. All the lions scratched their heads, looking puzzled, just like him. Why were these lions in glass cages? Why couldn't he hear them? Had they lost their voices? Now the lion was scared. All the lions looked scared. Just like him. Can't you come out of your cages? He asked. But while he was asking that, he moved back slowly towards the door because he was a little scared, right? All the lions started moving back slowly, just like him. The lion reached the door, turned the handle and ran out as fast as he could, away from the town, deep into the forest. He ran and he ran and he ran with all the energy that he had. He kept running till he reached deep into the forest. And on the way, he met other lions. And wherever he went, he told the other lions about the hair cutting saloon in town, where lions had lost their voices and they were kept in glass cages. And that is why lions never, never have haircuts. So that mystery is solved now. These foolish lions thought that what our haircut lion had said was correct. What had he done? Our hero had been looking into mirrors and thinking that those were glass cages and all the lions inside were mimicking him, but they had lost their voices. When you talk into a mirror, whose voice do you hear? Your own voice. Will the mirror talk? No, it will just imitate you. It will just make actions like you, right? Ah, but our lion thought that these were all other lions and they had been captured and put into glass cages and the poor things had lost their voices. Now he was foolish. That was bad enough. But he went and told all the other lions about it too. Now, none of the lions are willing to come to town to get a haircut. Ah, that was a very sad story, wasn't it? But it was a lot of fun to hear. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you like the story, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the, the channel so that you can hear a lot more stories in future. Bye-bye.